Number 10, not documenting agreements. Ensure that all agreements reached during the divorce process are, are properly documented and incorporated into the final divorce. Decree oral agreements or informal arrangements may not be enforceable. And they're, and then obviously, I mean, you're talking about a different area of law. You're talking about, um, oh, what do you call it? It would just would be civil. You know, you have, you have an agreement, contract law, I suppose. But it would be, it is good to document. Like I said, I'm not the divorce police. I don't tell you what you need to put on there or don't. There's plenty of, plenty, Plenty of literature out there written by attorneys and the courts and the law as far as the disclosure process and what you should and should list and, you know, community and separate property and all that. And we do document all that. I get that you're completely amicable and I give people the choice. Say, look, I, again, I don't know what you have, but now what, what you feel is important, high, maybe high value assets. Um, technically, you should be listing everything and we will list everything if you provide, provide it to me. But again, I don't know what you guys have. And, and again, our, I think the road people go down is some of our clients are so amicable that they're like, Tim, we don't want to list anything for a variety of reasons because, they, again, they are so amicable possibly um, and they know they're never going to have a dispute in the future um, or some don't want to list it because they don't want their assets and debts, you know, the possibility of someone acquiring that um, because it is quote unquote technically um, public record. Um, if someone knew about your divorce, could they go and get a copy of it? Sure. It's not published online or anything, but they could, you know, go to the court technically and go down and get that. 